these are the tails, the freaky tails. These are the tails. It's been a while. Sorry, then, you know, keeping y'all on hold. But we got a very interesting topic today. And I, I'm with my co host, Miss Mina Lexi. And before we start and before we get into the show, we're going to do Zeke Speaks. And my thing is with this idiot who's running our country. Now, he don't like that we have some nonviolent protests. He says that, you know, we're not using social distancing. He's the one that opened up the country, but yet and still, he's about to do a rally, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know where is that, which state is in. Well, he, he tried it when he said he was going to do it in Tulsa, and then he felt like, oh, they was going to tear that motherfucker down if I play with them like that, especially on Juneteenth. So, he rearranged some things, and he going to, uh, I don't know, and I don't give a damn, but it wasn't in Tulsa, Oklahoma, okay? Yeah, but my, my thing respect is... respect on our black name. Right, that's right. And my thing is, how he's able to do a rally... And it's not a problem with social distancing. So, is the fire marshal going to sh shut his um, ordeal down? No, but I mean, um, everything is opening back up. and. But you still have to practice social distancing, right? I just, look, I believe it's all a hoax. Honestly, I believe that this was just another strand of flu. Just like we had swine flu, it was pretty bad. We have uh, uh, airborne diseases and bio diseases all the time you know what I'm saying so I think they just blew it out of proportion uh, because of some moves that they wanted to make on China but that's just my opinion y'all can believe what y'all want to uh, I, I really don't I don't really see the need for it to remain closed if you have a weak immune system maybe you should stay in and protect yourself but it's like any other strain of flu um, it's just a little bit more contagious, a lot more contagious, a lot more um, transferable. Now, see, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a disagree with that because I've I've known a couple of people that have contracted the COVID nineteen. Yes, they said it felt like flu like symptoms and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but. I think it is a, a real disease. Mm -hmm. I think it's out there real bad, and people can, and people can get it, get infected. But I'm not understanding how this guy is not practicing social distancing, but he can have a rally, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a, a bunch of people in there, a bunch of his people in there. And my question is, I wonder if the fire marshals and the police officers going to come in there and shut it down, or the power of the secret agents will be like, hey. We're not shutting this down. We're going to continue to let it run. No, they're going to let it run. They but, like but, we can't, but we can't have a peaceful protest. we got to shut it down. People Hell no, nah, because we're against racism and all the things that it stands for. So anything that has anything to do with us protesting against the masses or, or protesting against, you know, that that systematic racism, yeah, we're going to have issues. So, you know, he just he just does things that uh, coincides with his agenda, that goes along with his agenda. And his agenda is to spread the hate that he's been spreading. Y'all just <laughs> jump on the bandwagon if you want to. Go to the rally if you want. I, I would say, hey, all of the Trump supporters, please show up to the rally for your Trump guy. Show up. Get together, hug, kiss on one another, get all close and snuggly, spread that crap around. So you want them to go ahead and get go the ahead. <laughs> Be our guests. <laughs> be all you can be at the rally. Right, huh? be all that you all can be. Wow. But we won't be there. Yeah, you, 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 ain't kidding, you ain't kidding about that. Cause, sorry about that. Yeah, we, we definitely not going to nah, be not there and support where well, we can be bringing it back to our homes and, and stuff like that. Nah. But you know, that was one of the questions I had. That's what I wanted to speak on about how he's having a a, a rally. I guess you could call it's a rally. It, uh, yeah, he's he's ramping up for his congress his his uh, presidential uh, election, and this is a part of his campaign. So this is his kickoff, and he was <laughs> gonna disrespect you guys 
and have it in Tulsa. And we all know and remember what happened in Tulsa with the Tulsa bombing of Black Wall Street. Yeah, he was going to kick it off there on June 19th to make a real statement. But then some, he said his black friends. Mm. Well, I look, think that's uh, what's that, that Owens girl yeah. with her. Well, look, we've been, we're about to take a break. We have an interesting show tonight. The title, the title of our show is Have the Roles Reversed in Dating Relationships and Marriages. So please tune in. Hey, start your watch party. We want you to be able to call in. We want you to tune in to our show. If you're watching on Facebook, we can bring you on to the show. And when we get back, we're going to jump it off. And this is your boy Zeke the Five Foot Freak with my co-host. Miss Mina that diva. And we'll see y'all when we get back. All right. Like, yo. Well, we back, and this is your boy Zeke, the Five Foot Freak, with my co-host. Miss Mina, that diva. So we're gonna get in. We're gonna get into some questions, but I, I got another question for Miss Mina, the diva, as she's going through these questions. She says she's willing to give a person a chance. They can't be thirty-one, even though they got the bag, everything right. But on your personal post, you said. Why can't I have an in-house, I think you put a... I said, I'll be happy for people. This is what I said. Okay, yeah. I said, I, I don't want to quote it wrong. Right. I say I'll be happy for people, but I, I'm not going to lie. I'll be a little jealous that they got in-house D and I don't. Cause but I'm you, got a, what, you had a tulip up there? That was an eggplant. Eggplant? <laughs> okay. So, she says she'd be a little jealous, but she have met people that had the bag, had everything going, Met somebody that she was really digging. That was off one of our previous shows. But where they at? Just because. So is it? So it's. I'm beginning to think it's, it's not always the guy. Sometimes it could be the women. I mean, it's preference. Oh, it's oh now it's oh, now it's preference. It's exactly that. The reason I say that is because if you meet a chick, just your first attraction is physical, mm -hmm. right? Right. You get to know her, and she dumber than a donut. Why, why everybody got to be dumb? They, I'm just saying, whatever tur turns you off, she don't clean her house well. You go but to you know, her house and she got it don't matter. It don't matter who he meet or who she meets. Somebody going to have some flaws and it's going to be more than one. But what are your deal breakers though? Okay, what, what's your deal breaker? Tell us what's your typical man that you want right now so our viewers can hear it and we'll know what, what you want. A perfect my man. There ain't gonna be no perfect man. No, he's not gonna be perfect. But my man, right? Okay, y'all y'all listen to this because on our next who, show, I guarantee it's gonna come up. I need a man who's ambitious, who's who set goals, has is goal oriented, he he has plans for the future, he's going somewhere. He's okay. not just idle, right? He's not right. mediocre. I need a dude that don't is not a turn up guy. He can't be a nat nat. Every man is going to slip up and do something. In my mind, he's going to slip up and do something. He's not perfect, but he cannot be a thought. He cannot be a nat nat out here sleeping and hitting everything moving. And a truck want to hit everything moving. Okay, that's two. Okay. Um, he has to be a God-fearing man. That should have been the first thing. Right? He also has to be a role model to my sons because I have sons who are men who are growing into men and he has to be able to lead them and give them the knowledge that they need to be out here in this world as a black man. So that's first and foremost. And then he can't be under three inches. <laughs> Okay, so okay. so so we got we have we have. I don't want to seem shallow, but he can't have four inches or less. Okay, so all in qualities is what you what you want in a man. And he has to have a job. And he has to have a job. Correct. Now, do you want to clarify that? Do it depend on where his job at? If or he's really goal oriented, it doesn't matter what kind of job he has because he's all he's working towards something. Okay, so if he's forty five years old, oh, okay. and let's say he works at McDonald's. Now we ain't gonna use McDonald's because you're a Waterburger girl. I like Waterburger. He works at Waterburger, and he's nice looking. Yeah. And he have all of this set. So you telling me you're going Waterburger and say I talk to him, even though he's 45 and he's doing, he got everything that you say he, he, he has. Yeah, I would give him a chance because I want to know why you 45 at Waterburger. Now see, you you want to know why you gonna give him a chance because you want to know why he's 45 no, at Waterburger. No, that's not why I'm giving him a chance. I'm saying I will give him a chance. Yeah, and yeah, if yeah. I'm giving him a chance, I will find out why he's 45 and at Whataburger. 
if he's 45 and at Whataburger and he's saying at some point I'm going to be a regional manager, that's a goal and a plan. And he's going to be at Whataburger. So I'm not going to leave him because he's at Whataburger and that's where he's going to be. But if he's at Whataburger because he never finished school, he doesn't know how to read, he can't write, he really don't know how to spell his own name, and all he can do is bag the groceries and wipe the table. But you wouldn't you would know all of that until you start dating them. Thank you. And that's exactly what I just told you, that I did not know that about the Whataburger guy until I gave him a chance. So we're out here in this dating scene, and we're giving people chances, but when they don't live up to what... We perceive as the pe person we can build with, then you gotta let them go. Cause I'm not gonna waste my time trying to convince you that Whataburger should be your end goal. Shouldn't be your end goal. Okay, I agree with that. Right? And 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 am I wrong? Is that shallow? That I want a man that wants to build towards something. That I want a man that doesn't want to live in mediocrity. Is that wrong of me? No, it ain't wrong of you. But I don't think you want a man that's at Whataburger. But let's get let's get to the next question. Okay. Look. <laughs> So one of our viewers said, I think the roles have reversed because women are more independent and not as docile. We are more vocal and tend to voice our opinions more. I think men tend to believe that independent women don't need a man. And that's the furthest from the truth. Girl, I agree. Some men may be intimidated, which I believe is a male ego thing. And it very well is. If a woman makes more than a man, a man cannot talk. He can't stomach it. He assumes off the rip that this woman is not going to submit to him. She's not going to respect him. She's going to look at him as a peon because she makes she has more zeros in her bank account. And that's not the truth because I'm trying to spoil mine. And if I'm a millionaire, he's just going to be a millionaire with me. Still working. At Whataburger. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you where I disagree with that. You because, disagree with what she just no, said? No, no. Okay. About the, the men are mad that the woman making the more money, whatever the case may be. Because you have a lot of successful women that are lawyers, judges, nurses, mm -hmm. doctors. Mm -hmm. And they may have a mediocre guy. Right. But if they have a mediocre guy and they married this guy, you think he's jealous and envious of, of the income she's making? Because he's happy, like, I know I can do more things now. Because my wife has the money, or my girlfriend has the money that we can go do this and go do that. And yet still, he probably have to just pay some of the bills, or she may say, just take care of, I don't know, the water bill or the cable or whatever the case may be. Can I, can I ask you this question? Mm -hmm. A woman who who has her mind set on going higher in elevation, right? Right. And she meets that mediocre man. What is wrong with a man accepting a woman saying, baby, what if we do this together? And her bringing suggestions to the table to, uh, to allow them both to build the empire together. What's wrong with that? Why do men take offense to a woman trying to teach them something or trying to edify them or build them up and elevate them? Why do you guys look at that or why do you guys look at that like she's being disrespectful or stepping out of line? I can't, I can't speak for, the, for, for them for that because I think if a woman is trying to build a man up, you know, go to, I want you to get back in school. I shouldn't see where I should be able to fight with that because she see, I know what your goal is, I see what you're doing. This is holding you back because you don't have this and have that. Go back to school and get it so you can't be denied this and that. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I don't see nothing wrong with a woman saying, if you're a successful woman and I'm working at Whataburger, mm -hmm. you say, you know what, I know that you can cut hair real good. Right. I'm investing in getting you a, a barbershop. And, uh, and helping you through barbershop. I don't, I, I don't think guys turn that down. Now, if it's a guy that's still trying to live the street life and the club life and I don't. I don't need that. I can take care of myself. Yeah, yeah, you gotta. You know who you dating. A lot of egotistical men will tell a woman, "Don't tell me what the hell I need to be doing." It's probably don't how they telling them. It's probably how the approach is, too. And one thing a man don't want to do is be belittled, or be shot down, or right. say that. You, a lot of times you can say this is what you need to do. Men don't want to hear that. Now if you come with a different approach, baby. You know what I think? I think if you do this and do that and I'm willing to help you to stand by you. Now that's a whole different approach and a whole different conversation. Right. But a lot of people, like how you say, a lot of men, I guarantee a lot of women is not doing it. Well, I know I've had conversations where I'm like, you have so much potential. 
and I don't think that and this is my exact word you have so much potential and I don't believe that you're living up to your fullest potential why aren't you is there a reason are you afraid of something what is it because I see so much in you yet you are giving so little or putting so little effort into yourself and you're not living up to your fullest potential and the pushback is or what the response is you don't know what I'm doing you, this is my life. I ain't got to do this. I don't got to do this. You well, know what well, I'm saying? For and it one, for one, because for one, if y'all in a relation, a trusting relationship, you should know what he's doing. So it shouldn't be something he's doing that you don't know about. That's for one. And for two, have you blocked any of these guys from our show? Because I would love to see them hearing what you say to see what they respond to. They would better be. not come on this show and expose the people. Listen, y'all know if I deal with you, you better not get on the show and expose that I deal with Can you. Can we get another we question? Because we got like five minutes. Oh, we got five minutes. Okay. So, so, um, so one of our guests said bad relationships are some things that sometimes things have happened that are tragic in their life such as myself i find myself being more aggressive this is from a woman but i have to think before my actions and i agree with that um women we do need we do need to and i've been teaching myself um by asking more questions or whatever but we do need to learn how to approach me and okay now let, them, now let me ask you this let me reverse that question mm -hmm. What if it was a male that had something that same thing she said happened in her life mm -hmm. and he's more aggressive? Mm -hmm. Do you turn him away or do you try to listen to see what was going on to see if you could correct it or would that be a turn off? No, I actually, I, another guy, I dated a guy and he. Damn, you he dated was, a lot of guys. Dating. Oh, that's right, because you say, you say dating is okay. You can date dating. as many as you, okay. Correct. Right. That doesn't mean you sleep with everyone you date. Mm -hmm. That just okay. means you get to know people, you have conversations, you go out on to dinner. Okay, go ahead and finish up. So you but was dating. Was dating him and he was a uh, aggressive guy and he had a history of being violent. Right? Mm -hmm. Physically violent. You want to hurry up and then we got like three. Okay. Minutes. And so I tried to to communicate with him and ask him what was those issues about? Why was he having those issues? And he was so defensive that and he was not um to the point where he was willing to open up so you have people who are suffering from ptsd post-traumatic stress syndrome you have mental issues in the communities that need to be you know help everybody needs counseling i believe but people are are offended when you mention it when you mention counseling when you mention getting help for their ptsd or anything like that people don't want to say or admit that they have a problem and they don't want you to tell them that they need to seek counseling. Counseling is a joke. But really, it helps. I agree. Well, look, this is our show for the night. We were talking about went to, We didn't even get to where we were going, but okay. And um, we hope y'all tune back in on our next show. We'll be marketing and advertising. We want to give a big shout out to Smells That Sells, which is on Facebook, NBA Kennels, um, um, Fortray Photography Free. Jay Quay's Chicken and Waffles and Maduro, Maduro Cigar Lounge. Also, I want to give a shout out to Vital Barbershop. Uh, go check Will out. He does a really good job in Kima uh, Vital Barbershop. And we had somebody that had a birthday. DJ? Uh, DJ, my son. He, he had a birthday. Uh, happy birthday. And my niece, uh, Maddie. Madison turned uh, one years old. So, uh, happy birthday to both of you guys. We love you. And we appreciate y'all tuning in. This is our show. We love y'all and we'll be back soon. There's nothing I want more in this world than somebody. The role reversed in a dating relationship as well as marriage. Before we went off, we had got to one of the questions. We're going to get to some more of our questions, but before we do so, if you want to come on our show, the link is post. You can come on as a guest. We can bring you on. We can talk to you. You can see us. We can see you. Our viewers can see you as well. But we're on this topic, and before, we, when we got off the show, me, me and my co-host, she was saying that she, what you said, you think um, men hold on stuff? Yeah, I think that men carry more, carry these days more baggage, just as women uh, carry baggage, but they hold on to it a lot longer, and they're more vengeful when they're holding on <laughs> to that baggage. And so I disagree. She, I disagree. She disagrees, but hear me out. When a man gets hurt by a dog woman, right, and he chose that dog woman, but he... Well, you don't hurt. necessarily know what you choose. 
You know, just no, like I you, knew he was a net net. Well, you know that, that's what my, well if, you, if you knew he was a net net, that means you knew about him previous to getting no, with him. You shouldn't have messed with him. I didn't know anything about him. I dated this guy. Mm -hmm. That's just like you meet somebody from another another state. You don't know anything about him, but as you get to know him and you watch how he behaves, what he does, his interactions with people, and then you start to see things, you say, oh, wow. Why you don't just leave him right there and there? Why you don't say, hey? Because he may be, listen. See what I'm saying? You're she go both me. ways. She go, first she say she with him, then he and that, that, and then. No, I said I was dating. See, okay, why, but, what but is wrong with Why him? did you stay with him? Why did I date him? No. No, you said when you why see that I he was mad. Why you to date Yeah, him? and you were like, wow, why you didn't just end it right then and there? Because, okay, so you can't meet somebody and then at, when you figure out that you guys are no longer compatible or he's not what you're looking for, you just dismiss him. Y'all can't be friends after that? Yeah, you can be friends, but okay, you continue. Okay, well, I like friends. See what I'm saying? So, to, in my opinion, it wasn't the guy's fault. Keep doing what you're doing if she allowed to do it. Then another thing she said on the break was... Men this tend, guy right here. No, no, because I'm defending the guy, not because I feel I'm she's wrong. Up. But then another thing she said, men, older men tend to find younger women. Yes, it, it's normal for an older uh, men uh, to date younger women. But it's I mean, not it's a, cool. but it's not normal for an older woman to we, date a younger man. I didn't say that. You have a lot of cool. You just said thirty one was a baby. For me, I felt some kind of way about dating somebody that's a decade younger than me. Okay, well, we're going to get to some of these questions. That was some of the things we was debating on when we was off the show again. We would love for you to come on. We want you to tune in. We would like to hear your, your thoughts and your opinion. So we're going to go to some of the questions, I mean, some of the comments um, concerning this. Uh, we had one of our viewers to say, true, he believes that the roles have reversed. And I asked, why? Are men too afraid to get back out there after bad relationships? Or they're just, or... They just have more trust issues these days. The gentleman responded, kind of both. It already take a takes a lot for a man to trust anybody. So once that's broken, it's like, F love, I'm just going to screw everybody. And I said, dang, that's messed up. Single women don't stand a chance, huh? And he said, I didn't really think about it that way, but you do have a good point. Well, I, I don't think all men, if they hurt, they just get out there and start wanting to... What we talk, well, then we got to talk about the age. Now, if it's a, a younger guy in his 20s, mid-20s, yeah, he's going to do that because he's still experiencing it. Unless he just meet that one that he want to be with. Man, this, you have older men who are dog men to this day. Well, they I, are in their 40s and they still dogging women out. And you got, you got women doing the same thing. I didn't say that they weren't. I but My thing is, with an older guy, he's probably not going to the club as much no more. He's probably working, staying at home doing whatever i don't know so his thing is if he if he's hurt or he's been hurt he's just trying to do something different there's a lot of men who have been hurt who take it out on women who have I'm nothing not saying to do don't. with the woman who hurt them they dog the next woman out and you got a lot of good women out here who want men but men have trust issues they have trust issues when it comes to dealing with women because now they feel like, oh, you wearing a mask like Sally Sue was. And as soon as uh, I give my, you know, open up to you and give my heart to you, you gonna break it. And men, I don't care what you say, men take heartbreaks way, way, way harder than women do. So you don't think you don't think women reverse that role as well and be like, you know. This man did it to me, so I'm just gonna get out there. I'm just gonna no, have fun. No, women and do my don't thing. think vindictive like that. Women what? are like, well, well, well. I can't speak for all women, and I, and here's another PSA. I am not a female. I'm a unicorn. I say that all the time. I'm different. So, with that being said, no, I don't believe that all that women take on the, the mindset of this man broke my heart. So now I'm a fin I'm about to become a real dog. And I'm about to get out here and dog all these men out. I don't think women think like that. But men, on the other hand, they become real players. They have 10 and 15 different women at the same time, and they dog them all. Well, we had one of our um, guests said, no same older man would deal with the headache of a younger woman. So he disagreed with that. And then I don't know what the young is, but that's true too. And that's what I'm saying. You're saying men will dog women out. 
then I think if it's a younger woman, he's not going to deal with that headache because she's probably not all women, but she's not probably all the younger women, yeah, right? But she's probably still going out to the club, still when she hear that song, she want to bait, bounce that that butt. Yeah, I was about to say the other mm -hmm. word. Well, she can get all the attention or be in the club if he had a club, you know, run it to the floor where everybody can see her so she can dance. Okay, and that's a twenty-year-old. So that's why I was just telling you, men who are in their young thirties, this thirty-year-old individual trying to come at me, and I'm a seasoned woman. Uh, I'm ten years older than him. I didn't think that we were compatible. Why? Because this young guy is still living a young man's life. Even though he has all his things together, men don't mature as fast as women, period. So yes, an older man can date a 27-year-old woman who has her head on straight because we mature a lot faster than men. It's just I agree with that. Just how it is. We also had a guest say young as 10, 10 years or more. And then we also had a guest say they wouldn't date anyone more than five years younger. Mm. Well, we have one guest that said, I think it's because women have gotten so manly, they have us walking around on eggshells. For example, to prove your point, it's the female rappers talking about being a savage. The men rappers got rainbow hair. I believe <laughs> it's somebody out there for everybody, but if you keep entertaining distractions, it will lessen your chances. You really have to be honest about what you really want and need where you're at and where you're trying to go. A lot of us need to be single long enough to heal so we won't bring baggage into the relationship we deserve. I absolutely agree. And you men need to stop wearing them doggone skinny jeans and them skirts and them dresses too. I don't like it. it I, don't, I don't understand that. I don't, that that's, the, that's the role reversal. Yeah. Now they I want to. Like I don't like it. I never now liked they, it. Now I don't they like the wear men skinny who jeans. wear pants hanging off their butt. I don't like that either. Like it's so unattractive. I, you can't even talk. You can't even speak to me if you got on skinny jeans or your pants hanging under your butt. Just don't talk to me. Now you think the guys that's wearing the skinny jeans, it's an age gap in that as well? Man, I've seen some some. You seen some older guys wearing the skinny jeans? Y'all need to discontinue skinny jeans on men. It just oh. it looks some kind of way, and we ain't gonna talk about it because I don't want to be attacked. But I stop it with the skinny jeans. Uh, one of our viewers said, "Hell no, we're not. Uh, we're not trying to catch a case." Another one said. Uh, uh, he must not be on the lease. <laughs> a woman said, true, and just my opinion, because more men are allowing their women to play male roles in the relationship. Again, that's just my opinion. Men. But how they how they allow what what's what's the role that the woman is play, playing in the relationship that the man is allowing that? Like you said, uh some men take being a breadwinner to a whole nother level. Like you kept saying, if if I'm the breadwinner or she's the breadwinner, just um some men allow their women to work and they don't work at all. Now, women, if you guys are accepting of that, y'all got to stop. Because a man is supposed to work. He's supposed to get out there. I wouldn't care if he don't have any common sense and all he can do is pick up trash. A man is supposed to be a man. And that's not a house mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I know you said... Uh, if he gonna be a, a house a, a Mr. Dad or something, no, a man's job is to work. He's supposed to be a provider and a protector. And you lose respect from a woman when she leaves and goes to work all day and she comes home and you sitting on the couch playing video games. That's not what's up, okay? The kids won't even respect you, dude. Okay, I, got, I have a question that was presented to me. Okay. You don't think, let's say, I ain't going to use me and you because you always like, hell no. Right. But let's just say I'm with the female and she she's the, the breadwinner. She makes more money or whatnot. And she decides to say, um, you stay at home. Now, let's just say I go to the park with our kids, taking them out, doing what mom probably would do. You don't think that's a turn on for some women? For a woman to look at that man and say, you know what? Man, he out with his kids. I like that. I like seeing that. He out at the park playing with his kids. Mm -hmm, but the park stay open all the time. <laughs> so after you get off work, you can go to the park when, when after work. Right. That's not cute. If all you do is stay home. 
because they have daycares. Again, two incomes is better than one. We need to be in the mindset of building together. And we're not building when you have one person doing it all. Now, if you have a partnership and that person says, baby, go back to school. And I make enough income to support our household until you finish grad school, whatever school. That is a partnership. That's an empire being built. You guys are working towards the greater good. But not just to say, I'm going to be a stay-at-home dad. Who made that up? That don't even sound right together. Stay-at-home dad. Uh-uh. Dad's supposed to go and show kids responsibility, provision, you're supposed to be able to protect and provide, and you, you need to do that. I don't care if you go and get a $10 job, or you go pick up trash, or whatever you need to do, but bring some income in the household. You ain't staying at home, Dad. Okay, now let me ask you this question. In relationships, whether it's marriage or in a relationship, the roles differ, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let me ask you this. Men and women often differ in roles they take on in their relationships, whether it's a marriage or in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Women, on the other hand, often manage things at home. You agree? Don't they, they often? often? Yeah, manage mm -hmm. things at home, mm -hmm. offer more emotional nutrients, and take on a role as the family planner by managing bills, planning events, and mm -hmm. organizing couples or family social life. True story. Right? True story. And the man normally is the guy that works, right? No, well, she does all that while she works. See, a woman is like a manager. She's able to do all things. And this is why God said that when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. Because she is the manager of all things. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like you can provide and you can buy a house, but she makes that house a home. She is everything. She's the cook. She's the housekeeper. She's the teacher. She's the, uh, the, the lawyer. She's the doctor. She is everything. And a woman, this is why you guys need to respect the woman. Because she... You can't, you can't duplicate her. You can't be her. It would stress a man out to be all of these things and still have to have a career. But you, first off, you can't be a man either. We don't want to be. That's why we want y'all to take the trash but out. Some, some That's people... why we want y'all to barbecue the chicken and mm -hmm. this and that. We want you to play the male role. I don't like washing my own truck. I don't like pumping my own gas. I feel like man, I, if I'm with a man, I'm not opening my own doors. I think that men need to still play their role. No matter what kind of money y'all are making in that household, be the man. Okay, but what, what is the woman's job then? To submit to her man and be, and be a helpmate and support that relationship and, and bring all things together. So when he bring his $10 an hour home, she don't complain because she going to go and make sure that $10 stretch like it was 100 that's what women do. And there's no fault and flaw in that. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't look at you like you less of a man because you make less money than us. No, some women do. Some women can see a man and he can be a good brother, but he probably don't have that top line job and all. Oh, where yet? Huh? Where yet? What you mean? The one you talking about? This man out there that's like that. Oh, okay, well we gonna start dating, uh, uh, you know, cause I do the little mixers. We're gonna start putting those people together because it's not, a, it's no. I don't, we don't really you, you cannot us. tell me in today's society the, the woman is looking at a bigger picture of I want this man to be able to do this and have this and work in it. I, I, I don't want to work and all that type of stuff. We want a man to work, but we also, we also will support our man regard. I will, if a man is, a, is working a city job, we don't, it doesn't matter what job he works. If he's working, he could be frying chicken. We still are going to respect I, I, that man. That's I, the way that, that's your outside, own ego. Outside, outside of the movies, I have never heard of a female saying, oh, I met Joey, he worked at churches. He worked at McDonald's. Would you date a guy that worked at McDonald's? Yeah, if, if he have a plan and a goal. My man might be working at McDonald's today. So if, you went, might be so if you went at McDonald's and you seen a guy and he... 45, 45, uh -huh. and he look good. 45? If you at McDonald's at 45, now what, see, when did you start? Like you, you changing uh, it up now. No, you changing it, it up. Because if he wasn't 45 and he was 31, you definitely weren't going to talk to him. So let's say you walk into a, a rest, a, a fast food, and it's a guy working in there, and I don't got nothing against McDonald's employees if you're 45 and up, because you're still grinding, you're still doing what you got to do. But 
You can't say that because you got some women that are managers. You got some men that manage that at Walmart. Okay. Don't, say, don't, don't say it's a difference. They still work at McDonald's. But if you walked into a McDonald's and you seen a guy that's 45 years old and he ended up busting his ASS, working hard, he got him a job, you probably wouldn't even pay attention to him, Miss Mina, that deep. I have. I'm not, I'm not buying it. It was water burger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying I got standards. it. Standards. I'm not. I'm not buying it. So you can't sit up here and tell me that women, it could be a good brother, don't have a criminal record, probably don't have no kids, working hard. I like a rough neck though. But you wouldn't get this guy a chance. I did. I have. I have. But well, guess what? I don't Listen. know. I don't recall that. Maybe I was. I was in Kansas still. I don't know. I didn't say that we was together for a long period of time, but so I'm saying. telling you that when he's the brother. It is. It's one side. Listen, listen, it's no, one side. Listen to my response. When the brother stepped to me, just because he had on his, and he wasn't at work, he just had on his Whataburger uniform, okay? And when he stepped to me in the in the gas station, I didn't I didn't handle the brother because he had on a Whataburger uh, uh, uniform. I let him holler at me. I gave him my number and we conversed. And when we conversed, I found out the dude was a little illiterate. So, yeah. It's always something. It's always something. What you something. mean? I mean, because I... Always listen, something. listen. It's always something. My <laughs> thing is, like I said... This guy gonna you, judge. You walk Look into a, a, a Whataburger, a guy could be... 45 years old. You just said why he in Waterbury at 45. That could be his career. He probably started at Waterbury when he was 17, 18 and became a manager. Or he could be a general manager of some Waterburgers, but he just in there helping out. Right. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't talk to him. I did talk to him. And when I did talk to him, I found out that dude was a little slow. So he wasn't management. He was the front line worker. Because all he could do was bad. What's wrong with the front line worker? Work? Oh my goodness. So listen, you So you couldn't you couldn't take him for who he is and just say, you know what? No, nah, baby, a good you guy. gotta be able to listen, see what I'm if saying? you're illiterate, I can't that, deal you, with you. I'm a sapiosexual. You gotta be able to stimulate my mind. So I'll give you a chance if you work at Whataburger. If you have your Whataburger uniform on, your McDonald's uniform on, and you holler at me, I will give you a chance. But if I find out that you are angry and you are illiterate, no, I can't do nothing with you, baby. Man. But if you if you special and you've been managing for a little while and you know this is your career path and you can grow in McDonald's. You can grow in Whataburger management or whatever. I don't mind you coming home had, like Greece. We had one of our viewers say you can help him learn. Why not help that man? You help like him? Learn to read. He look good. I don't give a damn about how he look if he dumb as hell at 45. But I, okay, but he working though. This is a hard working man. Let, let's just say. Work on your education. Oh my fool. goodness. <laughs> if you 45 and you uneducated and you can't read and write at 45, it's a problem. So let's say he's 45 and he didn't graduate from high school or college. He, he, he uneducated? He don't have to. Can he read and write? Yeah, he can read and write. Long as he's not illiterate. So you will give him a chance? Yeah, he a manager. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't oh my goodness, this man. guy right here, boy, he yeah. ain't cut you no slack. Hey, cause you you saying one thing, but then you contradict yourself by saying another thing. I'm I'm not contradicting myself by saying that I will give a guy a chance no matter what his position is. Mm -hmm. But if he does not mesh with me, he can be working a Whataburger job, McDonald's job, but have common sense. He knows, you know, he's literate and and he can read and write we go, we may be going places because i can help him build to something he also has to have goals and plans for the future but if that if his goals and plans for the future is to run a regional i mean be a regional man, manager for whataburger that's a plan that's a man with a plan that's the kind that you stick to stick with mm -hmm. but you just said earlier if he's 45 years old what the hell is he doing in whataburger i that, that's what you said. I mean, when they play back, this, they can say, you know what, Miss Mina, that diva listen, did say that. Listen, listen. If he's 45 at, at Whataburger and he's he's a manager or a supervisor. <laughs> what, if, what, if, what, if he's just a, what if he's just a cashier? If you 45 at Whataburger, so, so you have So you have standards then? Then what's your plan outside of being just a cashier? Are you a cashier because those hours work for you and you're in school full time? Are you a cashier because you just lost your job because of Corona? You know, what What? What are the reasons? I'm not just going to discount a guy because he works at McDonald's. But I'm telling oh, you, you that if that guy did. does not... Okay, well, you know what? 
I don't like McDonald's. I like water. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right. <laughs> well, one other question. Yeah. Hey, we were like, hey, we reading some of y'all mentions. We can't get to them all, but if you come on the show, it'll be a lot better, and we can go at it from there. We had we had one um, viewer, which is a female, said a job is a job. See, I like her. Long as that brother is working hard, doing what he got to do, and is, and then now I don't know if she ever went and tried to talk to somebody that probably worked that up. Grocery okay, store a job or, is or whatever, a job, but if he on a be. job. That and 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 he come to your house and y'all sit down and you say, baby. Now nah, don't don't use that in literary stuff. She said oh. a job is a job. She what well, she's talking about. If he a hard working man, I, I'm assuming if he's a hard working man and he has a job, no matter where it may be at, whether it's at a fast food, a grocery store, a um, a warehouse, or whatever the case may be, she'll give him a chance. He could be working at me the, too, at, He could be working at the port for a carnival. Me too, girl. Yeah. I will give him a chance, no, just like really. I gave Waterburger a chance. Nah, but Waterburger was illiterate. So what? You, what do you want me to do when I found out he couldn't read? And then we had one of our he viewers was say, wiping tables and bags. Then we had one of our viewers say, um, "Was Waterburger his only job?" Because you may have some guys that's working part time. But if you seen him at Waterburger, you wouldn't give him a chance, not knowing that this dude probably work at. Um, see, this guy well, does not listen to me. I said, when I met the guy, I gave him the chance when I gave him my number. As we could, when we started to converse and get to know each other, right, I found out he was illiterate. Had I found out that this was his, part of his plan, his goal was to move forward in life in some way. He was in college or he was going to move up on the chain and become a manager. We were we would have worked together. We she wasn't going to give him a chance. Yes, we're we getting ready to go to break. She wasn't going to give him a chance. She already said it. Hey, we're talking about Lowe's reversal and as you can see, if you have Whataburger or McDonald's <laughs> with Miss Mina that you don't get a chance. But I'm Zeke the Five Foot Freak with my co-host. Miss Mina that deep. And we will be right back. <laughs> Hey. I'm thinking how she rides on it, if she sits on it, if she licks on it, make it hard for me to stand up. It's time. This your boy Zeke, the five foot freak with my co-host. It's me to that diva. And tonight's show is about, would you like to go ahead and... Um, tonight's show is <laughs> about the roles in relationships. Have they reversed? M women are more aggressive and men are more timid in dating, relationships, marriage. Have the roles reversed? Hold on, I think, that, think? I think that's your value. It's my volume. Hold on, give us a second. We have a have to turn volume te te um, technicalities here. Okay. okay, but yeah, we're in about relationships and have the roles reversed. And before we get into that, I'm just going to give you my little definition of about the role reversal. Role reversal is a situation in which two people have, a cho have chosen or being forced to exchange their duties, responsibilities, so that each is doing what the other used to do. Um, men who have undertaken the most extreme roles reversal and become households, um, house not households, but household husbands. Households? So, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean Ooh, that. So, that's hey, a whole nother thing. Th that's the take on it, and, and, and we're going to get into it in depth of that. Some, in depth of that. Some of y'all probably agree, some of y'all probably disagree, but... I think some of the role changes are occurring in our society today and it's mainly starting with the men switching roles with the women, not wearing dresses and all of that. Let's not get that. No, that's a up. whole nother level. Yeah, that's a whole nother thing. But we're just talking about taking on the responsibilities, more of the responsibilities that the woman probably used to do in the household compared to what the man was doing in the household. And if you want to start it off, we can... Or maybe just not even um, in the household, in dating. What I've noticed as a single person in my dating experience that men have gotten to the point where they're not um, as open to approaching women like they used to. Um, they're not as confident as they used to be. They, uh, um, they're not as trusting. Men used to jump in relationships with with no hesitation and nowadays it seems like men are more reserved they're more standoffish and guarded because uh, women have taken on this player role and so I think that women have taken that role on because um, one of so say independence I don't really like that word but we're gonna go with it um, and uh, you know just being through so much women have started to just 
take on the role of a man and, and handle dating and relationships as men do and become more promiscuous, have become more, uh, you know, just like men used to be. And it's weird. Well, I'm, I'm a, mine's going to be a little different because I'm going to be going off of the relationships in the household from marriage as well as in um, being in a relationship with not being married. And then, like you said, you think men are, are not approaching the women. I, I agree with that to some extent. And I think one of the reasons being is because women are a lot stronger now. They're doing their own thing. They're not asking a man for a lot of things. And, and like myself, I feel like a lot of men probably don't approach women as much as they used to because they probably feel of being rejected or, or and I ain't saying playing hard to get, but like, now nah, I'm not really interested, but you are interested, but you ain't giving me the time to talk, but you want me to chase you, and men ain't gonna do all that chasing anymore these days. But why? It used to be about men, I mean, the thrill of the chase for the men was, was there. Why is it that men have gotten to the point where they don't want to chase a woman anymore? Not, and it's not even chasing her, it's like courting her and and, and the excitement of the courting. What, what? Why have men gotten away from that? I, I can't say that men got away from it. I think a lot of men is still doing that, but it ain't to the extent... Well, first off, you're trying to, to catch the woman. I think if the man did what he did to catch the woman and trying to get to know her and stuff like that and you get together, yeah, you will have the courting because you got to know the person before you started doing whatever you you started doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's hard to be PG on here. It's hard to be PG? Yeah. Okay, we're going to try to keep it PG as possible though. Um, but we have a lot of comments. We have a lot of uh, opinions from our audience and our listeners. Um, and we'll jump into that momentarily. Uh, but for me, I really think that the roles have changed. Um, one of our uh, listeners asked to explain independence. And uh, I really think that because women are uh, more bossy these days, uh, have more leadership roles, um, are able to hold a household down by themselves, uh, don't really need men as much financially as it as they used to back in the days. I think women have took that stance of, well, since I can do it all financially by myself, I really don't need you. But women, let me be clear, as a single woman, you need a damn man. Well, I'm gonna say that I ain't gonna, Period. like, I know Miss, Miss Mina that diva said that women feel like they don't need the man, but I think women are more career oriented these days. And right. I think that's one of the role reversals too, because now you have a lot of successful women that a sometimes, yeah, that's more successful than than the the man. Right. So sometimes for a man, it's hard to be able to deal with that because you know, back in the old days, it was always the man was the breadwinner, the man go to work, the woman stay at home, the woman clean, wash, or right. whatever the case may be. But nowadays, you have women that's career oriented and they getting their degrees they trying to get a a, a, a a better job and once they take on that better job and make it more money sometimes it's hard for a man for the woman to tell the man i mean it's hard for the man to accept the woman telling him that hey you can chill out you can stay at home or you can take care of the kids and you can be that household husband or that household boyfriend or whatever the case may be now with the boyfriend only thing i'm gonna say is i think that's the the weak way out because if you ain't trying to establish to be with that woman, you're just a boyfriend and you stand at home and you're not working, I think that role reversal shouldn't be because he should be getting his ASS out there working, doing what he got to do, whether it's 50 50, whether she the breadwinner or whatever the case may be. Now, if they get married, I'm not saying that it should make it different, but if she the breadwinner and she chooses to say, hey, you can take a part time job. You can stay at home, take care of the kids, wash the clothes, or whatever the case may be. I think that's okay. But a lot of men find that hard to deal with because we were taught that we take care of the woman, we take care of the household, we bring the food in the house, and the woman wash, or whatever the case may be. But when did the daycares close? I'm just saying, talking about stay home and take care of the kids. When the daycares stop uh, but taking care of the damn kids? Okay, now let me ask you this. Nine to five. We both getting out here. Okay, but, but all right. Now let's say, let's say, man, you together and you the breadwinner. 
What's when you say breadwinner, what do you mean? I make more income? Yeah, you, you make more income. That me. doesn't make me the breadwinner. Okay, but I'm just saying your, your income status base is, is higher than mine. But see, that's but the here, male, but, male ego thing. But here, but here me out. if I make more money what's, than you. What's wrong with if you're the breadwinner in the household and you decide to say, Babe, I want you to stay at home because now instead of paying for a daycare, mm -hmm. we can keep that money within the house and be able to do what we want to do. Uh, I think it's it, it takes away from the man being and feeling like he's a man. And <laughs> we got a message to say, keep it PG. <laughs> okay. And listen, uh, men, I don't care if you make $7 an hour. Let's be clear, okay? You got a lot of women out here who are entrepreneurs, who are bosses, who are I going out here making this bread. But that's because the doors are open more to us than they may be to you. So, or we may have more ideas and can be uh, more creative than men because we've always had to make uh, lemonade out of lemons. We had to make something out of nothing. So that creativity is by nature, it comes for a woman. But that doesn't take away from a man who's making $10 an hour because his, his woman owns her own business. It doesn't matter. Whenever you guys come together as one in that household, you guys should not discuss. I mean, it shouldn't be that you don't respect him or you give him less respect because he makes less money. If you guys are a partnership or a team, then that money, when you guys come together, it's both of y'all's money. Okay, but and I agree with everything you're saying, but okay, now let, let me change the role. Let's just say I'm the breadwinner. And you I, see, and you I, keep I, saying breadwinner. Well, I, are I'm, you not working? Am I not working at all? No, no, we both working. But let's just say I'm making a, a substantial amount of money where I can say, you know what, you don't have to work anymore. I'd rather you stay at home instead of us paying for a daycare, and I take care of the bills and all of that. And we men still doing that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure some men are still doing. It. No, but 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 majority men are still doing that. I, I don't. I didn't get no statistics on that. I I, I don't know. But just in your opinion. Do you think that more men are saying, I want to get to the point where I can tell her to stay home? Yeah. Or are men okay with their women going out and making money as well? Well, I, I believe they're okay with their women going to going out and making their own money. But I'm just saying, if it's an agreement between the two, mm -hmm. as of, okay, you know what? I'd rather you stay at home. I can take care of everything. Instead of paying for a daycare, or whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. we can put that money within the house. Okay. But if she makes if she makes enough to support daycare, vacations, and everything else with having a job or with having a side job or being an entrepreneur, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. But my, my whole purpose of what I'm saying is why pay for a daycare when you don't have to, when that person can stay at home and watch the kids. And then another thing. Mm -hmm. So stay, you, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Let's say you have a stay-at-home dad, because oh, oh. you know you have somebody, mm -hmm. and you making all the money, whatever the case may be. <laughs> don't stay you think? Stay-at-home dad. That's yeah, wow. or father, whatever you want to say. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it'll be a situation where now the kids can build a better relationship with their father compared to when the father's always gone, mm -hmm. having that same relationship that they have with their mom? Because you take if you take the African American community. I, I guarantee if it's a man that's working hard, 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 he don't have that time to spend with his kids at home because he's always working. Or if mama working as well, when mama come home, mama may be home before dad or dad may be home before mama, but it's going to be that interaction with the mom instead of the dad. Well, you know what? I, you know, I can have my own opinion, so you, got, you guys are just going to have to deal with my opinion. But damn that, we both going to work. We both, we ain't staying home for, you gonna get that same bonding time, dad, mm -hmm. as the mom would get when she comes home from work or what have you. You gonna get that same bonding time, but we both going to work in my household. I feel like ain't no stay at home moms and stay at home dads in 2020. We both getting out and getting this bag. Because we trying to go somewhere and, and expose our children to more than just the environment that they see with, within these United States walls. We trying to take them abroad. We want to show them and teach them some things. And the only way we can get there and educate our kids beyond the United States is to what? Work and build that bag so we can get them out of the United States. So baby, you go to work, I go, I don't care if you make $10 an hour, $7, I don't know what minimum wage is, but whatever you make, 
Bring it to the table and we'll get time bonding with these kids when we on vacation. Okay. All right. What y'all think? Right or wrong? And hey, we just being informed that the link to better come on the show if you want to voice your opinion and come on the show with us is being posted on our um, <laughs> on the live feed. So you just click on that link and it'll bring you on. Somebody said Daddy, Daddy they Daycare. Care. Hey, Mr. Mom. <laughs> yeah. All right. What about what about like we talking about you know the roles being reversed of women asking men to marry them not? Now, see, that was a topic I wanted to discuss. Um, <laughs> um, no. First off, first off, do you see anything wrong with that? You know, I'm on the fence about that because if I really like a man and I'm digging him and dudes seem to be a little, you know, like he's scared of some or whatever the situation may be, I don't, I'm going to put it out there. I'm a communicator. I'm going to be like, dude, you going to marry me or what? Because if you're not marrying me, I'm going on to the next dude at some point. And we don't have to jump into marriage, you know, if it was me and I'm like, okay, I need to be married. You know what I mean? I'm going to have that conversation. And I don't think it's, it's anything wrong with a woman saying, I want you to marry me or can't, will you marry me? Now, tradition tells us that the man is supposed to do that, okay? But... No. Okay, you know, because it makes me feel like, does he really want to marry me? I mean, is he really into me like that? Is he loving me like that? If I got to ask him to marry him, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Okay. Hey, y'all be sure to come on the show. The link is posted if you want to come on now, Miss Mina, that diva. What do you think? Can women... You, you have said on one hour shows that you was really digging a guy. Mm -hmm. Wrong or right? Mm -hmm. Why you didn't ask him to marry you? Now see, yeah, <laughs> you have to have all the criteria. Oh, to get to but hold on, wait. But you said you on one of our shows. You said you was digging this guy. Yeah. Why you didn't ask him to marry? Because he's still fighting. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, so oh, so, he, so so oh, it was him. It was. I him. mean, he's still fighting. He he oh. he a, he a hell of thought. But you know he likes he likes the women. He likes to be out there and and do his thing. So I mean it's fun. But you know you know when a man is 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 marriage material and when he's not, right? Just like you know if a woman is marriage material and she's or if she's not. And I'm dating, so sometimes that those dates be with people that are not on my level. Well, we have one of our viewers said. This is not happening. I cannot let Joe. She's saying I can't let you know I am ready for marriage, but I am not asking. No, but my oh, thing oh, is. Oh, so you can let them know that you are ready for marriage? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, well, if, if you letting them know that you're ready for marriage in in certain ways, you you asking them to to ask to marry. Them. But when do men actually bring up that topic? Like seriously, when do men just say, "Baby"? You know, I was thinking about marriage. Most of the time, men don't think about that. It takes for a woman to bring that to his attention and be like, dude, at some point, you either marrying me or you're going to stop wasting my time. And that's typically how the conversations go, right? Right. Okay, so then, if we sit back and wait for men to do it, it'll never happen. In that's, my but, eyes. But that's, but that's just like I said earlier about the man is normally the one that's working and the one to stay at home. Right, but that was in the old days, though. People, okay, well, that's, that was in the old days that, that the man asked the woman to marry. Now that's what I'm asking you. So, if a woman got down on her knees and proposed to you, how would you feel about it? Would first you, off, I'd be shocked and think it's a joke. And then secondly, I don't think a woman going to get on her knees. She probably asked. Shit, Chris, uh, what's her name? Chrissy and uh, uh, what's that dude's name? Jim, um, um, love Jim, and Jim Jones. Jim Jones. Chrissy got down on one knee with a ring and everything. Blinged oh. it out and he still didn't marry her. Oh, thing. Oh, man. It just wasn't right. But see, and that's a, another thing. Women have <laughs> ego and pride too. And we be like, if we propose and he don't say the right thing, then I'm going to feel some kind of way and I'm going to leave him where he's staying. So it's like iffy. It's like really Well, iffy. We, we had another one of our views because they coming back to off what you said on previous shows. True. Said, I be saying a whole lot said, of stuff. Okay, you said cheating, but assume the same thotting wasn't a deal breaker. Because you said in one of the shows that if he cheated... Cheating is not a deal breaker. Okay, let's understand. But okay. you just said the one that you was really digging, 
He was out thotting. But on one of our shows, you he said. You not you people. You said, not, you said, if he's cheating, I'm not worrying about that. As long as he bringing the bag home. If he bringing the bag home, baby, I'm not worrying about that. So that, let me explain. The quote those. might be a little wrong, but it was right, something right, on right, that line. It was wrong. Yeah. But let me explain to you guys what I mean. If we're in a if we're in a relationship together, I'm saying I would prefer for my man to be honest with me about the things that he does, and we can we can in that relationship communicate properly and move forward. And cheating would not be a deal breaker because he's really not cheating if he's telling me about it. But if he's not my man and we're dating, and I see that he has neck neck issues and he's a thought, no, I am. You're too promiscuous. <laughs> net, net. What's net that issue? Yeah, just net net. <laughs> <laughs> she always be having these sayings, and I be you like, you know how they are? They they little tender, tender <laughs> They got a little tender D. They like to touch it every time. They, net, they can't net. pass up nothing. They have to hit everything moving. Those are the people that I don't like. But I'm talking about a man who holds down his position. You know, does his part in the household. Make sure that he's respectful in all ways, and he may have a tendency to mess up every now and then. That's what I mean by cheating wouldn't be a deal breaker. But it's it, it, it's not like he can just be out here thotting, and I'm gonna be like, oh my, he a, he a little net, but I like him. Was he bringing home the bag? See, you you don't. I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm asking saying. a question. I'm just I just need some clarity. Was he bringing home the bag? He was, he was, he's supportive. He was supportive? The bag ain't big enough, I guess. Oh, no, 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 This isn't about me. This is about the situation at hand, which is <laughs> the roles have changed and men have just gotten away from being the man. Can we get back to the fact, to the point of men being the men that we are used to? You guys used to be so confident. You guys used to step to a chick the right way. Now dudes are on this Netflix and chill. Who came up with that stupid stuff? I don't. Come on, man. Don't call I, me. I, I don't. Know. I don't think a lot of guys are afraid to step up to the chick. Cause now you have to talk about the age category. If you're talking to somebody that's 20, 25, or whatever, yeah, they gonna yeah. still be doing the same thing. Or if it's an older guy and he ain't working or doing what he's supposed to do. He's not going to do that. I kid you not. I have way more younger guys. I just turned this guy down the other day. Yesterday, to be exact. Uh, young man is 31 years old. He got all his stuff together. Do you understand me? He got his own everything. And he get into a bag. So he get the, he got the bag. But I'm, but I'm old. Wait. I'm a decade older than baby. But he ready. I have seen more young individuals getting their things, getting their stuff together and wanting to be in committed relationships over the older guys. Well, but he's 31, so I don't consider him as a, a, a younger guy. He's an older guy. He's an older guy? Yeah, he's 31. He two years out of 20. It doesn't matter. That's young to me. That's still... He, this guy, 31. He's 31. And, and you say he got everything together. And as an older woman, you, you don't think I would... So, so you don't want a 31 year old, you want somebody more in the 40s then? I want, it, I want a seasoned man, but the seasoned men have too much baggage. Okay, so they what was, wrong, what was wrong with the 31 year old then? Why He's you didn't a give him Oh my goodness. So, so you, you, I would I think, I think, I think you just I think you having excuses to the fact of the matter. So I'll wanna, give baby a chance. But you just I, said you ain't going to give him a chance. No, I'm, yeah. I'm saying, I'm, I'm about to ask you this. In my mind, I felt that I was robbing a crater. I'm not a cougar. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm not a rob the cradle type chick. So I try to respect these. So you think that that's robbing I the cradle? Something on these youngsters, and they might want to blow their head off. You so, feel me? So, as a as an older chick, and I'm seasoned, and I know some stuff. And you go and put that on the youngster. Well, how you know? You don't know what that. Oh, I, I don't think the young man is a youngster. Thirty-one years old. This guy ain't twenty-five. He ain't twenty-four. He ain't thirty. I mean. 23. But I got a son a little bit younger than him. Okay, so what that mean? So oh, you, you're saying, you so you're saying, you're saying on air that they have to be 40 and up. Because if they come to I you mean, at I 30, wish, 31. I wish they were 40. I wish they were 40, 45 and up. Because in between that young range and that up to 45, I don't think men are ready. Okay, now let me ask you this. 
This 31 year old. Am I wrong? Yeah, I'm reviewing an act. So this 31 year old that you called a baby, he's getting the bag. Mm -hmm. He approached you. Mm -hmm. So that's two things he did, right? Mm -hmm. He got his own spot. Absolutely. That's three things he did, right? Mm -hmm. Have any kids? One. One. That's still a plus. Yeah, because I ain't having no more. Okay, that's still a plus. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I don't know if he's a murderer or a killer, or whatever the case may be. No, he's not. But you, but you still, ain't, but you still ain't give him a chance. No, I just told him I was like you a baby, and I wouldn't want to do you like that because. But how you know he ain't gonna do you like that? Nah, baby. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying. Can you know like I know? No, but I'm saying like what I, I I thought I felt wrong to have to take this guy at thirty. 31, 30, and, uh, you know, mess with him like that, and I'm so much older than him. I felt guilty in a way. Like, I should leave him for, you know, he hasn't experienced enough. He's right out of 20, his 20s, he's not ready to be with a woman who, who is seasoned and has all of these responsibilities, all of this stuff going on. So I, that was just my take. I could be wrong though. Maybe I need to go backtrack and be like, little baby, you ready? Okay. But, but look, we're about to take a break, but before we go, I want to read this. Problem with, with this is times have changed. Women want certain changes, but want the man of yesteryear. But they aren't doing the same things as our mothers and our grandmothers have done. That's a good one. Hey, but with that being said, we got the link posted. If you want to come on the show, we can bring you on where you can give us your opinion. Maybe you have a question for us, and we can go off your question. But again, we'll be back. I'm Zeke the Five Foot Freak with my co-host. Just me that diva. And we talk.